So let's talk about what's been going on, because last night, Vice President Kamala Harris drew a crowd of about 75,000 people to the D.C. eclipse to offer a message of unity and urge voters to turn the page on a shameful chapter of American history. Take a look. We know who Donald Trump is. He is the person who stood at this very spot nearly four years ago and sent an armed mob to the United States Capitol to overturn the will of the people in a free and fair election. This is someone who is unstable, obsessed with revenge, consumed with grievance, and out for unchecked power. We have to stop pointing fingers and start locking arms. It is time to turn the page on the drama and the conflict. I will work with everyone, Democrats, Republicans, and independents. I don't believe people who disagree with me are the enemy. He wants to put them in jail. I'll give them a seat at the table. It's kind of what you wanted to hear. Yes. <laughs> it's just, you know, okay, you're willing to work with both sides, okay. Yeah. Anything to stop this insanity. I mean, I feel like, have you ever seen Valley of the Dog? Yes, of course. So in the begin uh huh. <laughs> in the very beginning of Valley of the Dolls, you know, it's not the beginning. The girl, she's broken hearted and she's faux drinking in the forest and she's walking like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel. I feel like I am just walking down the street punch drunk. Yeah. I don't know if y'all, if this yeah. is starting to get to you as well, but that's how, what's happening with me. Do you think her message of, listen, I'm here to try to do for everybody. You yeah. think yeah. that will resonate? Can I, can I give a, also you doing down uh, history? Yeah, yeah. There's another historical moment I'd like to bring up. Sure. Because he talks about the enemy of within. He's talking about Americans. He's talking about us. Yeah. Uh, in 1970, when I was, uh, when dinosaurs roamed the earth and I was... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was, seems like such a long time yeah, ago. I was there with you. Yes, I know. I know. <laughs> I was there. Just oh, a little, a little long. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I'm referring to the Kent State killings of oh, 1970. Yeah. The National Guard was brought out by Richard Nixon to kill kids yeah. from Kent State University Protest. because they were, they were protesting. Yeah. They were protesting. They shot our children. The National Guard, Americans shot American children. That, when he says the enemy from within, that is what it evokes in yeah. my mind. Yeah. Th yeah. That they will be shooting kids who are protesting on campuses. I was, uh, I protested against the Vietnam War. I went to Washington. Mm -hmm. yeah. He would have shot me. Yeah, I protested against South mm -hmm. um, African apartheid. Remember that. Remember Kent yeah. State when you right. hear that word enemy within. Right. Well, and you, these remarks hit me last night. I gotta say, um, I found myself getting a little bit emotional watching him because the last time we saw a major national figure speak from the ellipse outside of the White House, mm -hmm. it was Donald Trump on yeah. January 6th. And I will never forget, I was at my in-laws in Florida, I had already resigned, when he said, you know, if Mike Pence has the courage to do this, and I just had this pit in my stomach thinking, you just put him in so much danger. Mm -hmm. There is a mob there of people who are ready to go march up because you told him to. So this imagery of standing and reclaiming that space, also showing... Do you see that that's one thing that President Donald Trump will never be aware that he did? He will never be, he has never been apologetic for his mistakes. He has always argued about what he done. He will never admit that he has done anything wrong. So the women in the views are just saying that that's something very difficult for him to do. To be aware of his mistakes, we will see his story. So <clears throat> maybe something that Kamala Harris is doing. So they were very proud of him. And they say that um, President Donald Trump has vowed that even if he does not win the election, he's going to declare himself a winner. And many people are going to die to lose their life. But some of them say that no, that the election, they know the system is very clear. And it's judgmental that the system will never allow someone like Donald Trump who has not won and to win. 
So actually, what do you really think about this? Do you think that Kamala Harris is going to win? Or do you think Donald Trump is going to win? Does it really matter who is going to win? Is it because Harry is a woman? Um, that's why they're going to vote for her. Or is this because of his Donald Trump character? That's going to make people to run away from him. It's nice that somebody else rules different people with their own opinion. Let's see. And some people see that President Donald Trump has ruled for four years. So at least he has a taste of it. But at least I've never ruled. And America have never been ruled by a woman. So in history, she will be the first woman and black again to rule the United States. So actually, do you think is that going to be possible? With the war allow American to have the first a woman to be their president? Let me see your opinion in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe and share the video. God bless you. Looking at the women in the views, um, they were trying to talk about some likes and non likes about President Donald Trump. They brought their own point of view about um, looking at the election that is coming. Uh, we're almost about there when the election is coming, and the women in the view are not appreciating what President Donald Trump is doing. Um, they are not very happy because we see um, where the January 6th took place. That's the same spot that um, Hillary Clinton went and had a conference there. And he had a, and you have a lot of people that were there. The black, the white, it was just a mix of many people. So the women in the views are saying that it was not just that, just the white people, just the black people. It was a mix of everybody. So it means that 75,000 people were there and everybody supported her. And people want change. People are tired of a weak election. People are tired of a man who just been insulted with President Donald Trump. People are tired um, to hear Hillary Clinton, um, to hear Kamala Harris say that she knows she has made mistakes and she will still make mistakes. But she wants to say she's sorry for the mistake she did and she's sorry for the other mistakes she's going to make. But all oh, she will try to work harder to become a better person. So the women in the view so you see, I need a lot of courage for somebody who has made mistakes or who is about to make mistakes to be aware of the mistakes that they are making. But she wants to say she's sorry for the mistake she did and she's sorry for the other mistakes she's going to make. But all oh, she will try to work harder to become a better person. So the women in the view so you see, I need a lot of courage for somebody who has made mistakes or who is about to make mistakes to be aware of the mistakes that they are making. But she wants to say she's sorry for the mistake she did and she's sorry for the other mistakes she's going to make. But all oh, she will try to work harder to become a better person. So the women in the view so you see, I need a lot of courage for somebody who has made mistakes or who is about to make mistakes to be aware of the mistakes that they are making. But she wants to say she's sorry for the mistake she did and she's sorry for the other mistakes she's going to make. But all oh, she will try to work harder to become a better person. So the women in the view so you see, I need a lot of courage for somebody who has made mistakes or who is about to make mistakes to be aware of the mistakes that they are making.